What's up, fight fans? Thank you, as always, for passing by. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. I'm not sure how this is going to sound. I'm not in London or in Nigeria. I'm actually in South Africa right now, Johannesburg, uh, Turfontaine to be precise. I'm commentating on a boxing event here tomorrow evening. Um, I just finished doing the weigh-ins today. Um, I say just finished. I finished hours ago, actually, but I was still around chatting to boxers and promoters, so on and so forth. Um, there's a lot of talent in Africa. There's a lot of talent. Um, they just get matched hard early. There is no pattern of the records. There is no, let's kind of build this fighter up a bit. It's just a case of you can fight, you can fight, fight. Um, but there is a lot of talent here and I'm starting to notice it. So hopefully we start to see some of that talent coming through. I think we've already seen it in the last few years, the likes of Tete and Dogbo recently beaten, was it Magdalano to become a world champion? So there is some talent coming through. All right, enough of that. That's not what you came here for. You came here because you saw Adrian Broner on the thumbnail. So let's talk about Adrian Broner. I haven't done a video in a while. Um, just because I've been here working my butt off. But obviously there was a lot of talk about Adrian Broner um, releasing what was, I don't know if you call it an offer, but what was a suggested figure that he could make if he signs with Eddie Hearn in this new um, Dazen, is it Dazen or D-A-Z-N? How do you say it? Uh, or let's just say Perform Group, that, that $1 billion deal, which I still don't think is $1 billion, but that's another video, right? All right, so... Um, so yeah, Adrian Brown has released the figures and said, um, you know, Eddie Hearn, this is kind of a slave deal. Rock Nation offered me more than this sort of two, three years back. For those of you that have been on Mars for the last 48 hours, um, the numbers were Fight 1, which will be in September, 2 million. Fight 2 in March 2019, that is 2.25 million. And Fight 3 in September, uh, 2.5 million. So in total, Eddie Hearn was saying, look, um, that's 6.75 million I'm willing to pay you for three fights. Um, good money. Let's not, let's not kind of beat around the bush. That's good money. You know, a very small percentage of boxers, I'd say less than 1% of boxers earn seven figures. Trust me. Boxers, the average boxer is earning nothing. The average boxer works two or three jobs just to get by and just takes anything they can. So 6.75 million is nothing to be scoffed at. It really isn't. Um, Adrian Broner kind of wrote a tweet as well as posting that <laughs> DM saying, I'm sorry at Eddie Hearn, you're a good guy and all, but you tried to give me a worse deal than Rock Nation offered me. And then Broner added the hashtags, um, this shit is over, hashtag slave deal. Um, how do people feel about it? What, what, do you, what are you thinking? Um, now, I don't think it's a slave deal. Don't get me wrong. I mean, some people have tweeted out saying, look, how can this be a slave deal? It's great money. Broner isn't that good a fighter and all that. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how good a fighter Broner is. For Eddie Hunter to offer that money, they know that Broner is a hot commodity. TV still like him. TV still like Broner, right? Um, he headlined a show that included Javante Davis, unbeaten world champion. I think it was Jamal Charlo, unbeaten world champion. There you have Broner, who's not a world champion, and he's headlining that event. So that shows... That Broner still is a hot commodity in a boxing landscape that doesn't have many hot commodities. Um, another thing, a lot of people are saying that Broner got paid one million for his last fight against Jesse Vargas. Now that's one million disclosed. Trust me, Al Heyman puts a lot of cream on top when it comes to these guys' figures. And I was, um, I did a video recently about Errol Spence. And I said, look, Errol Spence needs to fight Connor Brook. Why is he not doing it? Look, Errol Spence has not earned a million dollars. And I got shut down completely. Everyone was like, you crazy. Errol Spence earned $3.5 million for his last fight against Lamont Peterson. Granted, Errol Spence a world champion. But Errol Spence is nowhere near a bigger draw or a bigger name than Adrian Broner in the States. And my US people can verify it for me. If that's true. And I don't think it is. So, although... Adrian Broner got one million disclosed. Trust me, Adrian Broner is making good money with Al Heyman. Good money. Um, don't be fooled by his outside antics. I think behind all that and all that mystique is a very, very smart, business savvy guy. I actually believe that Adrian Broner could be getting paid more than two million and 2.2 and 2.5. Again, not disclosed amounts, but money that he gets underneath the table, so to speak. Now, what some people haven't liked and what Agent, what I think Agent Brown is getting stick for isn't necessarily the fact that he's turned, this, turned down this offer. It's the fact that he's shown it to us, right? He's kind of 
exposed Eddie Hearn, if you like. He's exposed the money that Eddie Hearn's offering. And now this is a difficult situation for Eddie Hearn because now when Eddie Hearn goes to boxer A, B, and C, they're going to say, whoa, but you offered Broner 2 million and 2.5. I'm a world champion. So it's now going to put Eddie Hearn in a tough situation, which really and truly, why should I give a fuck about it? I think that no one else should. But to finish, I don't think people should be surprised to hear that Adrian Broner earns more than 2, 2.2, 2.5. You shouldn't be. Again, there's not much out there. You, you look, you remove sort of the Wilders and the Joshuas and the Canelos from it. I mean, everyone is struggling to find a star that can do good numbers on TV. That's why there's not a lot of pay-per-view stars anymore because there's not many people that can hit that magical pay-per-view number where it turns into a profit. So a lot of fighters are fighting on TV now. So um, Adrian Brown is one of those fighters that clearly are fighting on TV, but he's doing good TV numbers. And I think he's earning good money as well. Like I said, look, um, Errol Spence earned $3.5 million for Lamont Peterson, people. Lamont Peterson. So if Errol Spence is earning that kind of money, I think Adrian Broner could be earning something very similar. Trust me. Um, so look, I'm not too fussed about Adrian Broner doing what Adrian Broner did in terms of revealing the, the tweet or the Instagram, whatever kind of thing it was that Eddie Hearn sent. That's Adrian Broner. And Eddie Hearn should have known that. Plus... If it, went, if it went directly to Eddie Hearn, I think, I don't know, I just don't think that's how you do business. I mean, Eddie Hearn should be sending that to his manager, surely, or his promoter or, or someone. He shouldn't be kind of just trying to go direct to AB. I don't know. Maybe that is how you do business, but it doesn't seem right for me. But um, yeah, interesting stuff. Um, the Charlos have now come out and said they want to do business. Again, they might have seen that offering for a while. Hmm, interesting. I don't think the Charlos have yet earned seven figures. I remember when um, Danny Jacobs, I keep getting the Charlos mixed up, when I think went up to Jamel Charlo and said, you've not made an M yet. You've not made an M. So he's not made a million. So the Charlos probably looked at that offer and thought, what? Two million? 2.5? Where can I sign the fucking contract, please? Whereas Adrian Broner thinks, you must be crazy. You must be crazy.